Hey there, it's Dan with another book review. This time we're reviewing Trade Paperback, The Weatherman Volume 1 by, and I hope I pronounce this guy's name right or girl's name. I just know it's Jody LaHoop, which I, forgive me if I've pronounced that wrong, but I've never heard of this author before. It doesn't say if it's a guy. Okay, it's a guy. Okay, but hopefully I pronounced his name correctly. Like I said, I've never heard of him before. Um, I already read and reviewed this. Um, when this first got published as a trade paperback, I read and reviewed this. But I reviewed it as a blog posting. And to be quite honest with you guys, like, I never know, like... I mean, just because I think something's like a great book or, you know, a great story doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to catch on and it's going to become trendy or that other people are going to, like, seek it out and like it. Um, I never really know what's going to be a hit and what's not. And I really did not foresee this being, like, a book that everybody was going to like. And I wouldn't be a bit surprised if this becomes one of the best books of 2019. It was really, really good. Um, this collects issues, The Weatherman, um, number six, or number one through six, excuse me. It's rated M for Mature. It's an image comic. Um, it's science fiction, of course. And it's about a guy named Nathan Bright, who is a weatherman. It takes place in the not-too-distant future. Um, it's so far in the future that there are colonies on Mars and Venus. And um, Nathan Bright, he's kind of like, kind of a doofus, kind of a nerd. Um, you know, he's he kind of reminds me of, like... The Doc from uh, from Back to the Future, but like a little doofier. And he's suspected of being someone else. Um, a guy named Ian Black who has, has been... Um, he's been accused of being a person who has murdered like a lot of people. I think he, he killed nearly everyone on Earth is what he's accused of. So this... He's a part of, supposedly he's a part of this terrorist organization called the Hand of God. And, you know, he, he had his memory changed and he doesn't really remember the guy he used to be. So this kind of has like a little bit of that, you know, the premise kind of reminded me of Philip K. Dick's, um, We Can Remember It For You Wholesale, which was turned into the movie Total Recall, for those not familiar and if you've never read any PKD, you really should check him out because a lot of his um, books have been turned into like science fiction films. Also, the artwork kind of has this, a similar style to Tank Girl, which I, I really enjoyed the artwork. I love the bright colors. Um, I love the kind of quirky way it's drawn. It's kind of really stylistically drawn. And like I said, it really reminds me of Tank Girl, the way it's drawn. But um, I really, really enjoyed this. Um, I don't remember 100%, but I think I rated this 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I may have even possibly rated it 5 stars on Goodreads. It's been a while since I read it. Um, I decided to make a video review of this for those who just don't read, you know, reviews. I know there's a lot of people who were like, oh, too long, didn't read. So for you teal deer people, um, I went ahead and made a video review because I figured it would be... This book needs to be seen. Um, like I said, this, is, this was a really enjoyable book, really good series. I can't wait for volume two. Um, like I said, it has... It reminded me of, you know, Total Recall. I'm going to share with you some more of these pages... Um, of course, as always, I will have a link down below if you'd like to pick up a copy for yourselves. Any and all purchases made through that link. Even if you don't buy this specific book, I get a small percentage of every sale. 
Um, every sale kind of helps out my channel. I'm not getting AdSense. I have the views, just don't have the subs, if that makes any sense. My channel's growing daily. I've been getting more and more people subscribing. So if you're one of those people who came here looking for a book review or graphic novel trade paperback review, go ahead, hit that subscriber button. While you're there, more important than ever is hitting that notification bell so you know when I upload again. Um, of course, I will have the tip jar. So if you could help by donating like a buck or two, 50 cents, whatever you can. I'm trying to save for movie editing software, lighting, microphone, stuff like that. Anything I can do to improve my channel, make my videos better. Any little bit is greatly appreciated. And like I, 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 say, I try to say this in every video. I appreciate anybody who's bought something or who's donated to the tip jar. And I also appreciate the new subscribers that I've gotten. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. Till next time, later.